All right, let's talk about honey. That golden nectar, the bee juice, the stuff that makes Winnie the Pooh look like a total lightweight. lightweight. We sprinkle it on our toast, pour it into our tea, and sometimes even use it for DIY face masks. Questionable choice, but hey, go ahead and be yourself. Here's the thing about honey. It seems to defy the laws of nature. Unlike that half-eaten yogurt lurking in the back of your fridge, honey just chills there, seemingly forever. So, what's the deal? Is this some kind of magical bee spit? The first ingredient in our recipe for eternal deliciousness is super low moisture content. Honey is basically concentrated sugar water, with around 80% sugar and only 18% water. That tiny amount of water is the key. Most bacteria and other nasty microbes need moisture to survive and multiply. In Honey's dry desert, they're basically dehydrated mummies. They dry up and become inactive, unable to grow and spoil the honey. But wait, there's more. That sky-high sugar content isn't just for sweetness. Sugar acts like a natural preservative. It creates a super concentrated sugar solution that affects the normal functioning of the bacteria. Imagine a tiny microbe swimming through honey. It's like trying to maneuver through syrup. Everything gets thick and sticky, making it almost impossible for the bacteria to function normally. Here's where things get a little bee fancy. Bees add an enzyme called glucose oxidase to the honey as they make it. This enzyme reacts with the small amount of water in the honey to produce hydrogen peroxide, which is a natural antiseptic. Now, you might know hydrogen peroxide as the bubbly stuff you use to clean cuts, and guess what? It does the same thing in honey. It helps kill off any lingering bacteria or spores that might be hanging around. Honey also has a naturally low pH level, meaning it's on the acidic side. This acidic environment creates another challenge for bacteria to overcome. Most bacteria prefer a more neutral pH to thrive. Honey's acidic nature makes it an unsuitable environment for them to thrive. So, does honey really last forever? Okay, slow down there. While honey can last a long time, there are a few things to keep in mind. Here's the thing. If your honey gets exposed to water, it can dilute the sugar concentration and create a breeding ground for bacteria. Keep that lid on tight and store your honey in a cool, dry place. Another thing to consider is that raw, unfiltered honey can sometimes contain spores of a bacteria called Clostridium botulinum. This bacteria produces a nasty toxin that can cause botulism, a serious illness. However, this is a risk primarily for babies under one year old whose digestive systems aren't fully developed yet. So stick to pasteurized honey for little ones. So there you have it. Honey's incredible shelf life is a combination of low moisture content, high sugar concentration, natural antiseptics, and acidity. It's like a quadruple threat against spoilage. As long as you store it properly, you can enjoy that for years to come. Comment your favorite ways to use honey 